Hello everybody and welcome to our POV review and drive of the all new 2022 Hyundai Tucson Hybrid. Now of course this is an all new vehicle so as you can tell the outside is completely different from the outgoing Tucson. It's also a very unique and cool design. Um, but we're here for the POV drive so we'll just do a quick look at the exterior. We have 19 inch alloy rim since we do have the limited. We have this unique mirror design with blind spot monitoring side is very angular we have that nice silver accent there and here's a look at what your back is as far as the cargo space you're gonna have around 75 cubic feet as a maximum inside of here here's your door trim you do have memory seating nicely leather wrapped Here's your key for the vehicle. As you can see, it's a nice design. We also have the Hyundai Smart Park feature since it's to be limited. But in order to start it up, just put your foot on the brake and press the button to start. Now, obviously, since this is a hybrid, when we boot it up, it actually doesn't need to turn on the engine. So we have our little EV light right there. And as you can tell, it's a full hybrid powertrain here. We're going to have 226 horsepower uh, from a 1.6 liter turbo four-cylinder plus the electric motors, um, which is actually going to be quite a bit up over the regular Tucson, which has 187 horsepower. Um, so this is actually going to be the quicker option of the two, not to mention the better fuel economy at 38 miles a gallon combined compared to 26, so a 12 mile per gallon difference. But as far as this interior is concerned, this is typically, this is just your typical uh, Tucson limited cabin. We have a nice leather wrapped wheel. 10 inch display here, 10.25 uh, inch display. We have our dual zone climate, heated and ventilated seats, push button shifter. Here's your reverse. We have the 360 degree camera. We also have quite a bit of storage here for the Tucson. We also have this area right here, wireless phone charging pad. And the really great thing about this is in the rear, you have a lot of space. Uh, it's actually class leading cargo space as well as class leading rear leg room. But Without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the drive and show you what it's like to live with this Tucson Hybrid on a day-to-day -day basis. Now keep uh, an eye on that EV light right there. That will go ahead and that'll be a pretty big part about this drive is showing you guys how much it stays in EV mode here for this hybrid model. As you can see, this actually does get up to speed pretty darn fast. It's way, uh, way faster than what you would expect out of the average thing in this segment. Uh, 226 horsepower, um, and you kind of launch off in the battery power, and then it hands off to the engine, which is a really, really nice uh, thing. I do want to mention you have standard all-wheel drive. You're also going to have a six-speed automatic transmission, which is something very unique for a hybrid model. They typically will come with a CVT, uh, but this has the traditional six-speed automatic, which makes for a better driving experience. It makes it more traditional for you know those of you switching over from a regular gas car. You might uh, appreciate that difference, and I know I certainly do as well. But if you're watching this video and want to know more about this vehicle, just in general, uh, we do have four of you on the channel, um, so be sure to check that out. We have lots of other Tucson content, but for now, I'll just go ahead and shut up and let you guys enjoy the driving experience.
I do want to mention the driving dynamics. I know I said I would shut up, but I do want to mention that this has really excellent driving dynamics for an SUV. Um, driving here on this country road, I'm actually kind of enjoying it, which is something that cannot be said about hardly anything in this segment. Uh, this has really, really good body control. The steering is also nicely weighted. Um, really excellent job done by Hyundai here on this. Also, the hybrid has a special system that uh, combines the electric motor braking as well as wheel turn-in to really give you extra good driving dynamics as compared to the regular model even. Um, so that's also pretty impressive and you can definitely feel that back here. You can toggle us into sport mode. So sport mode does go ahead and change the gauge cluster. It places the traditional hybrid component tree with um, just your normal type of gauges and the steering does stiffen up quite a bit. As you can see it does still go into EV mode in this uh, sport mode but it's going to use the battery a lot less and just rely more on the engine. Hyundai's do also have this button right here, and that is kind of the steering assist. So I will go ahead and kind of demo this out for you guys now that we're on a highway road. Um, it basically does most of the steering for you. You do still have to keep your hands on the wheel. Uh, it is combined with the adaptive cruise control system and a system they called Highway Drive Assist. But as you can see, it's doing a lot of the steering for me. We're kind of going straight right now, but um, as we go around this corner, it'll be a good demo of it. So as you can see, I'm really not steering at all. I'm just having my hand on the bottom of the steering wheel just for demonstration purposes. Uh, but that's actually a pretty handy system, especially on long road trips.
if you're paying attention, we actually stayed in EV mode all the way from way past that uh, red light back there. Um, so as you can see, it does. it's very willing to stay in EV mode. You have the battery charge right here in your gauge cluster, um, right here in the middle. So as you can see, we're charging the battery right now. Um, but once it gets to like above half battery, it really is willing to just keep it in EV mode really as much as it can. We do also have a brake hold system. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed this POV review and drive of the all new Tucson Hybrid. Um, if you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. There's a lot more car reviews on our channel. Um, we have all types of cars, luxury cars, mainstream cars, uh, cheap cars, whatever you need. We have it on our channel so you won't want to miss out. So please subscribe, also like and comment if you enjoyed this video. And we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.